Hey everyone, this is Adam Ellen Boss from Nightlight Astrology. Happy Monday, everybody. Today we're going to take a look at Mars's entrance into the sign of Virgo, because as soon as Mars enters Virgo, it begins an application to Mars by opposition. So we're going to take a look at that opposition and three things that you should start watching for as that opposition um, uh, begins. So that is our agenda for today. We'll probably do several videos on this archetypal combination. Um, because it's a big one and it's slower moving. And so we'll be experiencing it for a little bit longer. And when it perfects, um, it'll be a little bit more acute. So we'll we'll take a few videos to talk about it. We'll get started today by talking about three things you can start watching for right away as Mars has moved into Virgo and is just, you know, six degrees or so away from Saturn already. Anyway, before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe, share your comments and stories if you have one uh, in the comments section. We'll be doing a grabbed episode this week, finally getting one together again and uh, excited for that. You can find a transcript of any of my daily talks on the website, which is nightlightastrology.com. While you are over there, you can check out all of my readings and courses. If you have any questions about anything you find on the website, email us info at nightlightastrology.com. Okay, well, let's take a look at the real-time clock to get a feel for this transit. Um, I'm recording this um, a little bit in advance because of the holiday and I typically have vacation time in July around my birthday too. So I am, um, some of the, some of the videos this week will be a little bit more brief because I have limited time in which to record while uh, navigating holidays and vacation and, and birthdays and stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, uh, so here is the major transit that we're talking about, we have Mars opposite Saturn. You can see the two planets opposing one another within six degrees as soon as Mars enters Virgo, which is happening today. Now, if we move this forward a little bit, we're going to see that the exact opposition takes a while. We're looking at July 20th uh, to 21st. So the application is going to be spreading itself out throughout the next couple of weeks. Uh, but you should begin feeling it immediately. Um, so let's just make sure that we take this forward a little bit, especially when it comes to within that three degree range, which is right around July 16th. Uh, then it's within the three degree range. And then we take it forward and notice the perfection happening between the 20th and the 21st. Of, of this month of July. Okay, so there are three things that I think that we can start watching for right away. And uh, again, today is a little bit of a briefer video because I'm recording this during uh, the, the week of 4th of July where there's a whole bunch of busy stuff happening uh, in my life and family and so forth. So, but I wanted to at least warm us up on this Monday with three things that you can start watching for given that Mars is opposing Saturn. Uh, and will be for a couple of weeks. The three things to start watching for, number one is your relationship with control. Now, we could say that Mars-Saturn is great when it comes to learning how to control impulses. It's great when it learns, when it comes to maintaining or managing, you know, an even keel emotionally and being sort of mature and stoic, uh, conserving energy. And, you know, it's like... Uh, the martial arts, very Mars, Saturn. So if it comes to controlling energy, impulses, anger, uh, when it comes to control um, of anything that could be negative or destructive, Mars, Saturn can actually be really helpful when it comes to developing a healthier sense of control over unhealthy, damaging, destructive patterns. That's one of my favorite things about Mars, Saturn. On the other hand, Mars, Saturn can be reflective of people who can't let go who have to be, who are stubbornly or dogmatically uh, controlling, who are authoritarian, who, um, you know, kind of rule with an iron fist. So Mars Saturn can also be associated with all of the most destructive elements of the word control. Um, I have to let go and let God is not necessarily, <laughs> is not necessarily a Mars Saturn statement, um, Mars, Saturn might be more like the discipline of the monk or the mystic that uh, sits down and restrains their desires and um, meditates, you know, but 
Mars Saturn is also the person who is micromanaging, judging, criticizing, uh, has a very harsh inner critic and um, doesn't feel safe unless they're in control of every situation, has a hard time in relationships because they can't control another human being or every situation that you find yourself in. You know, you, you, if you can't control it, Mars Saturn is, uh, may act out. So all of the worst features of control and all of the best features of control, um, these are the kinds of things that Mars Saturn reflects. Mars Saturn is like um, the discipline that like, a, I don't know, a, a wayward teenager might need. And so they get sent to some kind of outdoor survival skill camp to learn how to be more resourceful, work as a team and, you know, get their teenage shit together, <laughs> you know? But at the, it's like a boot camp or something. Um, but um, I'm, you know, making this up. I maybe it's uh, there's probably places like that that exist that are very terrible. But you get what I'm saying. Like some kind of, you know, some send your kid to uh, kung fu lessons, you know, and then they they learn healthy respect for teachers and boundaries, and they learn that they're not the center of all things. And these would be very Mars Saturn like um, lessons. But by the same token, um, you know, if you think, if I think, for example, of the Karate Kid, which I've watched this new series, Cobra Kai. I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but it was really fun. It was like a remake of the Karate Kid on Netflix, I think it was. But anyway, Cobra Kai is very Mars Saturn too, in the sense that um, it's about control and power and domination, which can be a Mars Saturn feature just as much as the peaceful, um, the uh, learning to harness martial energies for the sake of balance and flow, which can be Mars Saturn like, uh, but so too could control domination, authoritarianism and so forth. All right, well, number two on the list of three things to start watching for this week is mature action. What is the mature, noble thing to do? What is the step or action you could take right now that if you take it will grow you up instantly? There's, there, there are times in our lives where we choose, and it could be something very um, basic, some simple thing that we decide to do rather than getting jealous, I'm going to trust. Uh, rather than um, acting out, I'm going to be patient. Rather than uh, impulsively doing this thing, I'm going to sleep on it and give it a few days to breathe. Where there is a, a kind of temperance of the will and the impulses and the desire to um, do the thing that take that that takes your maturity level up you know and and you can feel it like this is a grown up choice that i'm adulting as they say you know that's very mars saturn so the the question of what is the most mature action we can take what is the um what is the thing to do right now that my grandfather or grandmother would do and in, in, considering that they may be you know like wise sagely people <laughs> not all grandparents are but if I can imagine what does, what does the elder do in this situation? And I take that action. That's a, that's the kind of thing that Mars Saturn will do. Mars Saturn is often about marshalling our resources, um, and sort of, um, uh, g gathering our, our resources, uh, effectively, intelligently. It's about mature strategies, mature use of energy, it's about um, leveraging what we have without strong arming or dominating. Mars Saturn is um, about the long-term plan, the big goal that sees the, the next 20 years rather than the next 20 minutes. So Mars Saturn has this ability to be uh, both strong, effective, confident, and action-oriented while being controlled and mature. And serious. There's a gravitas to Mars Saturn too, where it's as though the kinds of things that are coming up, that, that, that there's a pressure behind them to do the wise, mature thing, or we could get into real trouble. It's almost like a pressure cooker where doing the right thing means avoiding a bad outcome. Mars Saturn can also be like the pressure uh, of deadlines and having to work under pressure. Um, to get something done effectively, but within a time limit or a time constraint. 
how do we deal with frustrations or limits when they come up and challenge our will and our way? That these are all the places where maturing happens in how we handle those kinds of tests. It's about anger and our relationship to control. And then number three is the brake and gas pedal alternating. Mars is the gas, Saturn is the brake. You could just think of this energetically <clears throat> that it's not going to work too well to, you know, hammer on both pedals. We have to learn how to accelerate and how to ease off and how to brake intelligently. And oppositions between Mars and Saturn will always teach us the energetic art of relating gas and brake uh, wisely. So as I said, today, a little bit of a short video because I am in a pressure cooker making videos this week while holidays are here and we're traveling and um, and my summer vacation is about to begin as well, uh, which is a time during which the only work that I do is to create content. So during this little period this week, some of my videos may be a little bit shorter than usual. Um, so bear with me until my schedule sort of evens out a little bit later this month. Uh, but we'll still make sure we get in lots of good content. There's lots of big things to talk about this month. And some videos will be, you know, longer and, you know, sort of more of the, the what you're used to, while others may be a little bit um, more expedited or a little bit um, more concise or brief. So anyway, I appreciate your patience as I navigate a very uh, busy month and one where I also really reset my, my own, I recharge my own battery creatively during the month of July. It's always the, the month where I usually take more time to read and write and make music and um, take care of myself. And then a lot of my renewed creative ideas for the rest of the year come uh, during this time. So I'm sure you guys can, can appreciate needing a little bit of that yourself and whatever your path is, you know what it's like. It's like you, if you don't take little pockets of time to shut almost everything off, it's really hard to have something of quality to give. So at any rate, that's sort of what I'm doing this week and uh, throughout July here. Uh, so we'll navigate it together. And uh, if again, if you want to find a transcript of today's talk, check it out on the website nightlightastrology.com. Uh, we'll be doing a grabbed episode this week and sharing some of the stories you have been sharing. But if you have one to share about Mars Saturn over the next couple of weeks, use the hashtag grabbed or email us your story grabbed at nightlightastrology.com. I look forward to seeing what you guys um, are up to and how you're experiencing this transit and others this month. And uh, we will see you again tomorrow. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.